Laura and Greg McClelland, and you've probably seen some of our pig videos on YouTube before, but this one's going to be a little hopefully. bit different. Well, hopefully they've seen some of our pig videos. Like, they're really cute if you want to go watch. <laughs> they are. Um, but this, this video is going to be a little different. This is the first time we've ever done anything like this, so um, bear with us. So we had the opportunity to add to our McClellan Doodle family. Yes. So we had to make a choice um, based on the location of our newest edition because she was in Ava, Missouri, which is just out of Springfield, outside of Springfield, Missouri, which is about a 13 hour drive for us here uh, where we're located. So we decided to fly with her, or fly and get her, and fly back with her. Yes. For we a couple do, different reasons. We do not ship any of our puppies. Um, we just don't feel like it's very good for them to be riding in cargo below, you know, the airplane um, mm -hmm. at yeah, that Yeah, so you have, you have two choices. You can, either, you can either bring your pet as a carry-on or ship or check them. Um, we have had many requests to, I don't want to say ship dogs, but I guess um, not everybody's local. So Deliver. Yeah, deliver. Okay, so deliver. deliver dogs. And we have not, just for the fact that uh, we're a little apprehensive to fly with a puppy, um, the timing, the resources it, it takes to do it. So we thought this would be a great opportunity to fly with one of our own dogs and see how the process went. So we, I, flew to Springfield, Missouri from Charlotte, North Carolina, and made a vlog about it, so. Um, um, let me back up really quick. Uh, I wanted to say that we have had several inquiries about whether we are going to add to our breeding program different doodle breeds. So we began researching the different um, breeds. Now we do, we did add a Golden Irish to our breeding program a couple months ago. So we're hoping to do um, Irish Golden Doodles in about a year and a half or so. But uh, we really fell in love with a certain other doodle breed as we were doing research. So we will reveal the um, the breed at the very end of this video, but if you'd like to guess, um, leave a comment below. Yeah. Isn't that how you do it? I think that's how they do it. I don't in know. Uh, we'll also, there's a link in the description below for the bag, uh, or the, the carry-on carry bag that I used to bring. It's a Sherpa brand. Uh, yes. The puppy back in, but. Uh, the, the airplane had certain, the airline had certain requirements that the bag, she needed to be um, able to stand up um, and be able to turn around. So different airlines may have different requirements, so always check with that before. That's great. So, without further ado, hope you enjoy our Here's video. Great strip. And we'll be back at the end <laughs> to get Josie. with Josie. Good morning. So I've made it to the airport. Uh, it's about 6.50. Flight leaves at 9. Uh, I want be, me to be here two hours early. So uh, we're going to park in the daily lot uh, here at Charlotte Douglas International Airport. And uh, we're flying to Springfield, Missouri here shortly. All right. Good morning. So we made it to the airport. Made it to the parking deck. We're in the hourly parking deck here at Charlotte Douglas International Airport. We've got a little ways uh, to walk over to the terminal. Uh, about 10 till 7, flight doesn't leave till 9, so we've got a couple hours to kill, but uh, so far so good. Hey everyone, so it's Future Greg here, and we're on the bus from the daily lot to the lower level departure drop-off. As you can see, Charlotte is going through a major renovation there, adding onto the A concourse, uh, doing some arrival drop off so Charlotte is uh, is kind of a mess uh, at, when I recorded this, but we made it through security uh, pretty quick. Um, helped 
being out that early in the morning. Uh, the daily lot only cost me about $14. Uh, there is an app now that you can use for parking at the airport. So you can prepay, which is actually uh, pretty neat, pretty convenient. Um, so again, going out to the e-concourse, this is on the far left side of the airport. Uh, Charlotte has five concourses, A, B, C, D, N, E. Um, you have to walk between all of them, but there are moving walkways. So you can get through pretty quick. Uh, so I got in, made it to uh, Starbucks, got a coffee, uh, got to our gate. And as you can see, uh, we were on a smaller plane. Uh, that was departure, uh, right before departure. And uh, as you can see, Charlotte flies to many destinations. It is a very large airport. Um, and, but not all of the planes are large, as you can see. This was, uh, this was a smaller American Airlines jet. It did have a first class. I think first class was two seats on one side, one on the other. It gave you a little more leg room. Uh, going up, I chose uh, a seat in the back. I really didn't care where I had to sit, but it is tight. So if you are flying with an animal, keep that in mind uh, that they do have to stay down at your feet the entire time. And uh, I'll talk more about that later, uh, the kind of bag we used and, and how I was able to get uh, Josie back. Uh, this is takeoff from Charlotte. Thankfully, uh, the weather cooperated heading out. It uh, stopped raining right before we boarded. So uh, had a smooth takeoff, uh, a pretty smooth flight overall. It was about a two hour flight. Uh, we're heading to Missouri, so Missouri is one hour behind us. So I did at least get that hour back. So here we are on approach into Springfield. Again, weather was great in Springfield. It was hot, but uh, we had no issues getting on the ground and getting to the gate. Springfield is a fairly small airport, only 10 gates. Uh, there was a McAllister's Deli in there to eat, and really that was about it. The breeder I was meeting with Josie lives in Ava, Missouri, which is about an hour away. So they were gracious enough to drive up and meet me outside of the airport. Uh, again, like I said, it was a small airport. I had about a six hour layover, but we were going to meet out front. Here you can see baggage claim, um, the ticket counter and the front drop off pickup area. So again, I met the breeder out front. We went over uh, the paperwork, they gave me her toys, gave me her food. Uh, super, super nice people. Um, and so I took Josie and we went and played in the dog area outside. And as you can see, Josie was very happy to run around, stretch, stretch her legs a little bit. Um, trying to wear her out a little bit before our two hour flight back but she had no hesitancy to play, to, to run around. She was very energetic, very friendly, and uh, you know, obviously drew the attention of many people in the airport. There's a bag that we used. It was a Sherpa brand bag that my wife ordered, and we can put the link uh, below in the description if you're interested in that. But that is the carrying case that, we, that I used for uh, carry-on travel. We were not going to check her underneath the plane, so she flew back with me in the cabin. Uh, but she did have to stay at my feet. But she had a great time running around with her new toys and uh, getting some exercise, just getting some of that energy out before that two hour flight back. So now it was time to get back through security with Josie, uh, which I was a little concerned about, but it was a very simple process. TSA was great. Um, all I had to do was hold Josie and walk through the metal detector. Um, as you can see here, this is her laying in the bag. As we got on the plane, American Airlines was gracious enough to move me to a row by myself. So I had plenty of leg room and so did Josie. I took some treats with me from Aaron's Good Girl Dog Treats because those are the best treats around. And uh, 
as my ears you know, adjusted to the altitude and were popping, uh, I, I gave her a little treat just to make sure her ears weren't bothering her. So again, it was about a two hour flight back, uh, flew through some storms, just a little bit of turbulence. Uh, Josie did great. She uh, only barked a couple of times when we were actually coming in for landing, but the people around us were in love with her and, and, and the flight attendant was great. Uh, the whole crew was great so it was, it was a really great experience with uh with uh, bringing her back and you can see there i, I unzipped the crate and, and uh, let her stick her head out a little bit uh, once we got on the ground all right so after let's see it's 9 30 now let's see, seven 14 and a half hours we're back and we got miss josie she's in there somewhere she did just fine parked one time on the way in other than that she did good so we'll uh can't wait to get her home and share some more photos and videos okay guys here is miss josie and I don't know if any of you guessed correctly, but she is a sheep doodle. So um, her, she's an, a first generation. So her dad was an old English sheepdog, and her mom was a standard poodle. So she is a standard, and we're thinking she'll probably be around 60 pounds full grown. But um, she will be bred to a poodle for F1B sheep-a-doodles. So. We're excited to have her. She did such a great job on the plane and on the trip back and at her vet visit this past week and everything checked out with that. So yes. uh, next step will be her health testing. Yeah, yeah. I know. We will be sending off for her genetic health testing shortly. And then around a year old, she'll have her uh, hips and elbows OFA tested. Um, when we were looking for breeders, we made sure to find one that did health testing. So we woke her up from a nap. But um, uh, her mom and dad were both genetically health tested and they also had their hips and elbows tested. So that's very important when um, looking for a puppy to make sure that the breeder does health testing to, to help rule out those those uh, diseases and and problems that may result later on in life. So thank you all for joining us on our video and hopefully we'll have uh, many more, whether it be with the new litters or just to uh, keep you all up to date with what's going on. Yeah. So take all care. Right. Bye. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, we will reveal it at the end of the video. Um, There's a fly in here. I wonder if we can... <laughs> It's not on my head, is it? Okay. Make it a fly doodle. Okay, that's really cheesy, Greg. Okay, so anyway.